This was no joke for a president who had been elected to restore Croatia's pride. The Yugoslav army had humiliated him and he had no means to respond. Zbog toga sam ja tišao kod predsjednika Tuđman i rekao da mi ne imamo više šta čekati, da očigledno, a ja sam to i očekivao, armija neće naružavati našu policiju, a ona je prema zakonu bila dužna to činiti, nego da moramo to činiti sami. On se s tim saglasio. This retired Yugoslav army general had got himself a secret mission. At first, he ran into problems. They approached us uh, uh, about supplying them with arms. They said they wanted to improve their police uh, techniques uh, and their police force. And I have to say, I did not hesitate a nanosecond uh, before I recommended uh, to Washington that we, that we turn them down. And we certainly did not want to be arming a Croatian police force so it could oppress Serbs. The Croats took their business elsewhere. Ja sam posjetio Budimpeštu i da smo tamo u e, dogovoru sa od, odgovarajućim organima Mađarske napravili ugovor o isporuci e, naoružanja. Kada smo mi Evročekom zagarantirali plaćanje, mi smo poslali tamo dva, kam, dva šlepira. The two lorries, loaded with Kalashnikovs, arrived at the Hungarian-Croat border in the early hours. Someone had been tipped off. Ja sam se isto nalazio ovaj, na tom prelazu i osmatrali smo iz onog pojasa gdje se vojska nalazi sa jedne osmatračnice. Mi u stvari nismo znali precizno da se radi o uvozu oružja. Mi smo znali za a, nešto tajno a, što se dešava na granici i propušta mimo kontrole u čemu učestvuju čeljni ljudi ovaj sud. The lorries disappeared into the night. Yugoslav military intelligence now began a major operation to prove who was behind the smuggling. Počeli su da nam postavljaju zasjede, počeli su ispitivati u Budimpešti i tako dalje, vrlo agresivno su nastupili prema Hrvatskoj. Rekao sam tim ljudima po prilici, ako ne možemo avionom, ne možemo brodom, ne možemo vlakom, ne možemo kamionom, možemo li mravima? Nastala je konsternacija u Durani. Kakvi mravi? Četiro totkaše, mali. Svatili su svi. I krenulo je. Bilo je sitnih zapljena. Ali Boga mi je dosta i došlo toga. Only the army of the Yugoslav Federation was capable of stopping the Croats. A display of force had been enough to turn back the Croat helicopters bound for Kanin. Now the Yugoslav High Command faced the fact that the government of Croatia was equipping itself to form a rival army. Zakonsku obavezu imo jer je to uvoženje oružja da bi se izvršila oružana pobuna protiv međunarodno pravno priznate države koja je međunarodno pravni faktor koja ima svoj ustav. But these arms smugglers were the democratically elected government of Croatia. It would be politically dangerous to arrest them. The army trod carefully. At the beginning of January 1991, an order was issued aimed at the Croats. All illegally held weapons must be handed in within 10 days. Croat ministers were openly defiant. Pa gospodo, zar vi mislite kad pojedine policijske stanice, pojedine općine otkazuju lojalnost Republici Hrvatskoj da ćemo mi onda kupiti dva šlepera naliv pera da bi pisali nemojte nas napadati. Moramo poručiti gospodinu Martiću da će hrvatski barjak doći u Knin i hrvatski grb da će doći u Knin. 
Message then phoned Belgrade to tell the Serb leadership what his government would do if an attempt was made to disarm them by force. Message je rekao da ukoliko se to ne prihvati što on traži, onda će uradić sljedeće. Tačno od A do Š da zapišem, da slučajno ne ispadne da mi nije rekao. Prvo, proglasit će odcepljenje. Drugo, zatražit će od Saveta bezbednosti intervenciju mirovnim snagama da njih zaštiti od nas, iako se oni naoružavaju protiv sobstvene države. Treće, povući će sve kadrove iz organa federacije. Pito sam ga da li su svesti da su odabrali rat. Fear swept the Croat capital Zagreb that the Yugoslav army was about to move. Crowds prayed for peace. President Tudjman called an emergency session of his parliament. Prvo, svaki čin pravnog ili fizičkog nasilja koji bi bio suprotan Ustavu Republike Hrvatske smatrat ćemo ugrožavanjem Ustavnog poredka Hrvatske pa bi se svaka represivna akcija smatrala činom okupacije. During the session, an invitation arrived. Tudjman was asked to go to Belgrade to face the Yugoslav leadership and the army. Ljudi su me i sa suzama u očima i s prijateljskog kruga i drugi na, na ovaj, uvjeravanje baš u parlamentu da ne idem. Rumors spread that if they went to Belgrade, Tudjman and his ministers would be arrested. A osim toga, nema drugom, ni onima nasuprot nama, ni nama, nego da razgovaramo i zdražimo rješenje. Čak sam smatrao intimno u sebi, ukoliko bi me ubili, da bi to bilo pred svijetom upravo dokaz toga da idu protiv hrvatske slobode, protiv hrvatske demokracije, prema tome u interesu Hrvatske. I zbog toga sam utišao. The State Council, Jugoslavia's highest authority, was the body which could give the order for the army to act against Croatia. That evening, they met in Belgrade to deal with Croatia's refusal to hand over weapons. Every republic had a vote. Mesić je apsolutno odbio bilo kakvu aktivnost koju možemo učiniti, a i drugi članovi predsjedništva su bili u velikoj nedoumici šta da se radi, jer kao što se zna, to je bio trenutak kada treba povesti vojnu akciju. The State Council members, waiting for the Croat president to arrive, argued on. The head of the Yugoslav military then made a seemingly innocent request. It was a trap. Nekoliko minuta prije pola osam, kad su inače bile vijesti, general Kadijević je predložio jednu stanku da bi bilo dobro vidjeti vijesti, pa onda da nastavimo s radom. Like the rest of the country, the State Council found themselves watching a TV program shot, as the caption says, on VHS without the knowledge of its participants. The film showed the chief Croat arms buyer talking about what it called terrorist formations in Croatia. Yugoslav military intelligence who made the film intercut the material with public statements by President Tudjman. A što se tiče naoružavanja, nismo naoružavali HDZ-ovci.